Africa and you are watching Alena Media TV. I am Janet Agbalanyo. Kindly take note of our weekly activities and satellite channels. Mondays COVID-19. Tuesdays will bring you African history. Wednesdays is African news. Thursdays is entertainment. And on Friday we have editorial. Saturdays we have entertainment. Sundays we have your say. Our satellite broadcast has begun. Kindly take note of our satellite channel frequency. Now sub vertical 12728. Symbol rate 27500. FEC 5 slash 6. We'll go for a commercial break when we come back. The, the news continues. You are welcome back from the break. Now the news. Khartoum, also known as Sunas, Lieutenant General Abdul Fattah Al-Bahan Abdurrahman, Chairman of the Transitional Sovereignty Council of Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, received a letter message from Eritrea President Isaias Afweki related to the bilateral relationship between the two countries in the field of military cooperation and ways to enhance them. The chairman of the so Sovereign Council received the message at his residence this evening from the Chief of Staff of the Eritrean Defense Force. Lieutenant General Filippo Walda Johannes who is visiting the country at the head of the high-level delegation in the presence of the Directors General of the General Intelligence Service. Lieutenant General Jamal Abdul Majid and Deputy Chief of Staff for Supply Corner Maj Madi Ibrahim, next of the Asmara Ambassador to Khartoum. The proof directed the leadership of the military institution of the two countries to seize the available opportunity to develop the relationships of the, of the two countries in the field of military and security cooperation to, and to confront common challenges and create an appropriate environmental environment for cooperation in other fields in order to achieve the aspiration of the people of the two brotherly countries. Now the other news. Rains complicate Ethiopia hydro dam dispute. Ethiopia says it had reached a major common understanding with Egypt and Sudan related to the first filling and the annual operation of the 6.4 GW Grand Ethiopian Remnants Dam, GWRD paving the way to a breakthrough agreement in the continuous dispute that is primarily about use of the river Nile's waters. As power reports in depth early this month, Tension between Ethiopia and Egypt related to the filling of the GERD reservoirs of the Blue Nile, a significant Nile tributary, escalated from USA. Mandated talks collapsed in February. Egypt recently sought intervention by the United Nations Security Council. Warning the dispute called provoked crisis and conflict that could further establish an already troubled region. Ethiopia has continued pushing for resolution broken by the African Union, AU. According to July 21st statement from Ethiopia's office of the Prime Minister, the three countries agreed to continue talks during a recent virtual meeting hosted by the AU and observed by the European Union, AU, and the USA. Accordingly, Ethiopia, Egypt, and Sudan agreed for further technical discussion on the feeling of to continue in the AU-led progress and proceed to a compromised agreement, the office said. However, the office also said that current rainfall and downfall in the region had made it conductive to active first filling of the massive dam. The ministry noted that the dam under construction is already overlapping. 
Ethiopian push to unliterally feel the dam has been a major point of contention in decades long disputes. Tension escalated among last week after satellite image released on July 14 by U.S. Fair Maxa technology showered water beginning to fill in a reservoir behind the dam. Now let's take another news. Shedding light to the sorrowful the sorrowful and unbearable death of Alexandra Afenye on Thursday, July 16, 2020. 35-year-old Alexandra was found unconscious and not responsive at Foothill Blave Hayward, CA. The police and medical examiners are still investigating to determine if his death was accidental or suicide. After recently hearing his awful news, his beloved two beautiful daughters, Holda and then Linda, mom siblings, relatives and friends are devastated and mourning the sudden passing of, of our adorned and most loved Alexandra. Many of us lost of wonderful, loved, young, young life and stranger to none. Now let's look at West African news. West African leaders on Monday called for the swift creation of a unit government in Mali and a fresh vote after dispute election, but warned of sanctions against those opposing efforts to end the country's crisis. In a statement issued after a video conference, head of 15 nations regional bloc ECOWAS stood up by President Abraham Balka Keta but called for a unit government to be established rapidly and urged the opposition to join it. Minister in charge of defense, justice and foreign affairs, national security and financial would be nominated before the unit government to, to create it and said, but addressing demands by, pro, by protestants that cater quit, leaders said, leader also said the country's democratic constitution had to be represented. They also, he said an ECOWAS commission to consider sanctions against all those who act contrary to the normalization process of crisis. The virtual summit, which lasted three hours, was convicted amidst fear among Mali's neighbors that the depending crisis could cause the fragile state to slide into chaos. Ketu in past said 2013 is battling major problems on several fronts, including an eight-year-old jihadist revolt and slumbling economy. However, much of Mali's current tension was sparked in April when the constitutional courts tossed out 31 results from long-delayed parliamentary election, benefiting Ketu's party and sparking protests. Tension then reacted up into a crisis on July 10th, when an anti-Ketu rally against by the June 4th movement, a lost a lost collaboration of opposition group and religious leaders turned bloody. Turning, turning to this issue, the summit called for the immediate resignation of the contest 31 MPs and the holding of by-election in their constituencies. In the meanwhile, Parliament could continue to operate with the 106 other MPs. The submit also called for an overwhelm of the constitutional courts and for Ketu to use his constitutional powers to dominate the ninth members in his fail to make headways. Mali is a member of ECOWAS, which has intervened in several crises in West Africa, notable in the Gambia, Libya and, and Sierra Leone. The other members are Benin, Burkina Faso, Cape Verde, the Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, Guinea, Guinea Bissau, Ivory Coast, Liberia, Niger, Nigeria, Senegal, Sierra Leone, and Togo. The conclusion from Monday's summit retaliates a blueprint for, comprom for compromising that ECOWAS drew up on July 19th, but was rejected by the June 5th movement. Here ends the African news. Kindly share your thoughts, comments via our social media handles. Thanks for watching.